Ooh, it is cooking hot today. <laughs> G'day tubes, how's she going? Holy cow, this is like really hot. If we don't get a good storm out of this, I'd be surprised. Get out of here, you stupid bees. Holy man, it's hot. I brought my little fan up here anyways. Um, I'm gonna try to have to clear a spot here. I gotta stop up my fan up. Uh oh. Oh, let's see here. Oh, she works. Oh, the cows is blowing the hot air around. There's no cool air, that's for sure. They actually say now that blowing a fan on you and you're really hot is actually not good for you. Because it dehydrates you faster, apparently, and that's really not good for you. So, anyways, just have to blow a bit of air around, try to keep some air movement going. Anyways, today I want to work on this mower. I'm going to see if I can get this carburetor off. I got to get this thing going. My buddy's still on vacation, like I was saying there, and I got to get this thing going, so. I'm going to take some pictures of where all the linkages go. That's the only problem I'm going to have problems with. But I contacted John Deere and he sent me a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, diagram of this carb. So we got a diagram of this carb here. I've got concerns why I've got this though here. That seems kind of weird, like it's... Like it's leaked something, but it's not on the other side. I don't know. Could be the gasket in there, maybe not perfect or something. I don't know. But uh, holy Jesus, hot out here. <laughs> well, we got to take this whole assembly off of here, unbolt it here, and then unbolt the linkages somehow, get them off. I guess we'll figure that out when we get to our here. So, but I'm going to take some pictures just so I know which way everything goes back together. And uh, holy cow, let's get at her. Sweet. Hopefully I find some junk in there that's blocking this thing up, making it uh, surge like that. All right, well, I guess first we'll see if we can start getting some of the bolts out of here. They're smaller, of course. Um, here. Three-eighths bolt Get this to come off of here. And it's kind of tight quarter here. Hello. I took the back panel off here just so a little bit easier to get into and a little bit easier for you guys to see. little tight there. It's funny how they have a little more clearance on this side. That little spring just come off of there. That's where we mounted. I might drill a little hole in this guy maybe and mount it right into the, the guard. That's that um, little one for the uh, choke return kind of spring. idea why they use plastic on these intakes now. Doesn't make much sense to me, but it's cheaper maybe. I don't know, probably is cheaper. <laughs> but these feel like they were maybe locked tighted in. Well, I'm not stripping things out of here, that'd be into this block. Could probably well yeah the bottom one wouldn't be so good but you could put a bolt through here and nut it from the other side. Man, that's feel kind of tight. We'll get it here eventually. Oh, jumping. Fight me right to the end, aren't ya? 
So we've got to take this whole thing off of here to get the nuts off the carburetor. But I shouldn't have to actually take the carburetor off. Oh yeah, those were Loctited on. Thread lockers. Red Loctite, it's like, well, how are you supposed to get that out now? A little bit on there, not much, anyways. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't have to take the uh, carburetor off. This thing, I should be able to get everything I need from just the other way there, but there's no room to get in to get anything when it's still mounted here. So. Kind of silly, but that's the way she works. Should put long enough bolts in there. That one looks the same. I imagine all four of these are the same. That one didn't actually work on this bottom one here. I'm gonna figure out how to get all these linkages off of here. They actually got screws in the ends of them there. I don't know if I can get that off like that or not. <laughs> Fight me right to the end. That one looks the same. Okay, that's loose. Let's see what we got to do now here. Couple of hoses back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. That one's off. I don't want to break that thing. Holy jumping there. Okay, that loosened her up a bit. Now we gotta see if we can get these linkages out of here somehow. Oh, I see how they do the sealing on these. I'll show you that in a sec. There's like a rubber washer thing in there. Holy jumping, how they expect you to get all this off? That's a lot of linkages. Off. I might have to take this fin off of here though. Right, I have to take that little fin off. Oh crap. Okay, that one's good. That little nut just fell down on the engine here. Oh crap. <laughs> that worked out better. Okay, I'll just put that guy back on the lair. Don't want to lose this little spring here, little wee guy. Put him up there. Take this one out. This has got that little bend in it. 
I can get them out. Well, maybe we'll just do that one there. Stay there for now then. Okay, so that one's off. We got a wire here. I believe the bottom one here should just clip right out now. That's good. And then we got this one here. And little wires for the solenoid for the fuel solenoid here. Try to get that out. It's not work now. Too complicated these things. There's that off. Whatever happened just to the normal carburetor? Take it off in about four minutes. And away you go. Nope, too complex now. Okay, gotta get the spring up there. We need a pair of needle nose for that. It springs out. And we just have to try to get this last linkage out here. Like that, there we go. Still got a fuel line hooked on here, but I can uh, pop that off of here maybe. And we'll take her inside here and see what we see what we got going on here. Alright, quick bit of disassembly, but there we go, we got her free. Okay, so there she is. This is going to sound a little fanny in here, probably for a wee bit. Mm, little fanny. Um, I probably should give this a blow. Let me go give her a blow here. Okay, so having a look at her here, uh, let me think it was um, this side I thought that had like that wetness sort of at one time, but... It looks like these gaskets are all right, but I'm not really sure on these things. They're a little different. Looks like it's got kind of pinched over there or something. I presume they would just come out, yeah. I'll have to look at those closer after, but this one here I got a bit of concern maybe a little bit about. It's got kind of pinched over a bit strange. Although it should seal all the way around there, it shouldn't really make a difference. I don't know if you can reverse those or not. But uh, I'll leave that in there just for now. Maybe I'll order some new ones. I'll have to wait probably for a week to get them though. <laughs> but uh, I really want to just pop off the bowl here and see uh, what we got going on in there. If anything. Nikes, who put that on? Probably a robot. Alright, well, I'll just get these off. And uh, I'm wondering if in, something in one of the jets in this thing. Ooh, get back here, you. All the linkages seem to stay where I you know, left them, so that's good. Um, okay, let's just tip this up. Get that off of there. Well, there's a pretty sophisticated setup in here, I'm thinking. Man, why do they have to change stuff? Just make her the same as it was. Make it so bloody complex. There's a little O-ring there. How the crap do you get this apart? It's a new one to me. Hmm. There's a bit of gas in there. I'm just going to go dump that out. Alright. 
Um, I'm gonna grab another towel here, maybe. Get so much contamination inside of this thing. I don't know how to get this all out of here. I guess this thing turns off or something. Well, it's supposed to turn, I guess. This is all new to me. Hmm. Well, you need a real thin wrench to get that guy out. Holy cow. That's probably your floating stuff in there, too, I would imagine. This is a uh, Really different kind of carburetor, I must say. Wow, that's a thin little gasket on him. I guess you're supposed to put it on here. It's like a quite an intricate little thing. Hmm. I'm confused. Wow. This little O-ring on here's got a bit of crusty on it. Interesting. I'm not sure how to get this piece out of here. I don't want to damage it or anything. But... Hmm. It's kind of new to me. Wow, we. <laughs> I feel like a noob. A noob. That I'm sure has to go back on the exact right place too. Yeah. Wow. I'm not sure how to get this out of there. Hmm. See a little jet there. Tiny little jet down in here, and then this is the main nozzle here. Goes way down inside of this guy. Somewhere here, you're. Uh... Gosh, wouldn't it be stupid? It was just this tiny little o ring that was a problem. It does have a bit of crub on it, but. Wow. I would say you probably got to get this thing out of here first too, uh, and I don't know how I'm going to do that because I don't think I got a small enough wrench for that. Not quite. Pretty darn small. Wow, and there's no drain on this or nothing. What a silly setup that is. Hmm. I'll go see if I can find a tiny little wrench maybe to fit that guy. I don't think I have anything like that though. Darn specialist tools. Hmm. Wow. crazy so that's where the fuel comes in through there so I'm gonna see if I can get a tool or something to get this out I don't think I have anything that small but I'll go check I ain't got anything that small <laughs> I'm just gonna try to I guess pull on this thing and see if it'll just I mean it spins so it must be able to come out oh there we go okay then I don't really see anything in there, but there's that little plunger thing that's supposed to stop the fuel flow when it's, uh, you know, in the off position. Now, what that's supposed to do is um, help it from, because if you're if you got it running really fast and you shut it off, it spins down. Well, it's still pumping fuel into the system, right? So now you put a bunch of raw fuel, 
in through the system, out of valve, into your, so now that's going to potentially catch fire or backfire on your, so that's what this does, it shuts that fuel off and it doesn't allow it to suck anymore while it's winding down. Uh, they do screw up though, but that looks fine to me. There's a bit of crusty on this though again. And this little O-ring, I don't think that would make a difference. And I'll see if I can rub the crusties off it. Put her back on there. your float there I guess. Now interesting trying to figure out how this works. So that comes through the top and I guess it just shuts off the flow. It doesn't let it flow down that pipe there anymore. That's kind of a weird way to do it. Wow. Weird way to do it. But anyways that looks fine. Those two parts. I'll just put them back over here and then that O-ring back on the top of this thing before I forget where it goes. And uh, I guess we got something going on here. I'm not sure how you get that guy off though. So we'll look down in there. That's almost impossible to see down there. All right, so we got a jet here and a main nozzle there. Boy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just take these right out, I think. Give them a bit of a cleaning, maybe. Little caskets, maybe they'll re you know re re themselves. I just don't see anything in here. Like this thing is clean. Tiny, tiny little jet there. That must be pressed in or something. So you can only really blow these out. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna go hit it with some air. I guess it's about the best I can do. I don't know. Well, everything looks fine. There's no dirt in there anywhere. It's all clean. So the filters are working, but something made her surge, and I, I'm kind of wondering if it's something to do with these, these uh, gaskets. I don't know. Maybe I should... Uh, I don't know if you can put them the other way or not. I guess they're multi-purpose. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll try her and see. They look like they've been kind of pinched a bit weird. It's probably just the way they're supposed to be, I would imagine. They should seal it, I would think. But I myself like a gasket in there a little better, but maybe because being plastic, that's what they do with these. I don't know. Not too crazy on that, though. Well, I'm going to slap her back together, I guess. Uh, I don't see anything going on with this in here. I was kind of expecting some dirt. I blew it all out. Everything seemed to blow out somewhere, so if there was anything in there, it should have come out. I got a little bit of assembly to do here to get this all back together, so I will do that, um, and we'll catch you in a minute. Uh, I'll throw it back on too, and we'll get it ready to fire up here. Well, all back together. We're going to fire it up here. I don't know what's going on, though. Hopefully that's fixed her, but I doubt it. Thought I could have fixed it myself, but uh, bothers me when I can't fix stuff myself. So we'll leave it. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait till he gets home from vacation. See what he can do with it. Wow, what else could it be? That's a mystery. Very, very big mystery. What else would make it surge other than like a coil or something? I'm confused. It shouldn't make a difference with the, the 
filter on there, but maybe it does. I don't know, we'll try it again. I doubt it will. It's just like it's not getting enough fuel. Oh, I'll leave it for him, I don't know. I don't know. Darn it! Well, unfortunately, I couldn't fix that one today. There's got to be something else or something I'm missing with it. I don't know. Something. It's weird how it just kind of all of a sudden happened. I hope something isn't, like, already worn out inside the engine. <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave it for him, I guess, so he'll have to uh, work his magic to it. Maybe he knows uh, probably a lot more about it than that. He's all schooled in it, right? He went to school for this stuff, so he's been schooled. So he'll know uh, probably what's going on. I couldn't think it to be something as simple as, you know, the, just the magnets are dirty or it's just getting not enough spark on one thing. I wouldn't think so, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Probably something I should clean up. Maybe it'll make a difference. Um, it's hard to see the uh, connecting side of the coils on here. It's probably getting a bit warm. They actually do absorb a lot of heat out of that engine being mounted right above the cylinder there. You never know. They look fairly clean in there, but it'd be hard to get in there and clean it without actually taking it off, and then you have to reset it. Which I can do that. That's not a big deal there, but uh, I wouldn't think that would make a difference. But I'll leave it for him. I don't know. I'm. If you get into multi cylinders, I don't know. I lose something. <laughs> Just I can't. I don't know. My brain doesn't work into two parts. Maybe I don't know. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll uh, hopefully get this thing going here again soon and uh, figure out what's going on with it. Weird. Weird how it was fine and then just kind of slowly started to surge a bit. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's weird. So anyways, we'll catch you later. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good day.